Hey there guys, Robert Lewandowski is open to a new move to a big European club or is open to a move away from Bayern for a new challenge. Uh, he's got two years left in his contract but Bayern value him at around £100 million. Pounds. His goal record for Bayern is just ridiculous. He's got 331 games, something like 297 goals, 65 assists and that's only in his Bayern career. He's also just got 56 goals last season for club and country and he's already got three this season already and he got a brace in the German Super Cup final against Dortmund, which they won 3-1, sorry. And if the Ballon d'Or wasn't cancelled last year due to Covid, he would have won the Ballon d'Or easily because he was the best player in 2020, in my opinion. If you look at the current climate of the football world right now, I don't really see where he fits in. There's not many gaps for him to fill in at a club. So if you look at PSG, PSG, I've just bought Messi. Uh, they're both Spanish teams, both Barcelona and Real Madrid. They both got financial problems and they probably couldn't afford it. So yeah, there's not really a lot of gaps. Chelsea have also just bought Lukaku, so that's kind of filled up a gap there as well. But where there is one gap is at Man City. Now Man City are looking at Kane, and if you look at their first game of the season against Spurs, they really struggled without that focal point. They really struggled without a striker. They missed that presence, that guy to like take their chances. And they need a number nine, they need a striker, Man City. It's pretty public and well known that Man City are looking at Kane and that Kane wants to go to Man City as well. You see that through him not showing up at training and also missing the first opening few games for Spurs. So it's pretty clear that he wants to go to Man City. Now, does this announcement or sort of announcement by Lewandowski show or put Spanner into the works of the Kane deal going on with Man City? Because first of all, the valuation Bayern have put on Lewandowski is a lot cheaper than I think Tottenham want to sell Kane for, which I think is around 150 million. Because Daniel Levy wanted to maximise the amount of money he can get for Kane, and maybe Man City should just maybe neglect the Kane deal and go on to Bayern and just negotiate with Bayern, because I think it'd be much easier to negotiate with Bayern than it is with Daniel Levy. But Lewandowski is about to turn 33 years old, and you have the Erling Haaland factor. Now you have this release clause which is active in summer of 2022. For Erling Haaland, we can get Erling Haaland for around 75 million euros, and that's a steal for Erling Haaland. And maybe Man City will do that. Firstly, because Erling Haaland's 21 years old, he's young, and secondly, it's just a guarantee of season after season of goals. And if he wants to leave eventually or leave Man City, they can get a good resale value or they'll get a lot of money for him. But I do think that Man City need a striker now, and if they don't sign a striker for this season, I think they could basically be sacrificing the Champions League, and it will be tougher for them to win the Premier League this season because all the teams under them, or that finished under them last season, have improved a lot. Chelsea have got Lukaku now, and Chelsea have beaten them in the Champions League final without Lukaku. Man United have strengthened, getting Sancho and uh, Rafael Varane from Real Madrid. And also Liverpool with Van Dijk coming back from injury, uh, Ibrahim Akinati from uh, Leipzig who they signed. It's basically the same Liverpool team that won the league, so I wouldn't be surprised if Liverpool are up there as well. So it's going to be tough for Man City to win the Premier League again this season if they don't buy a striker, in my opinion. And if they did sign Lewandowski, I think it would increase their chances of winning the Champions League and also would increase their chances of regaining the Premier League title this season. So if you were Man City, who would you buy? Would you buy Lewandowski? Would you continue going for Kane? Or would you wait for Haaland next summer? I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Daily football content coming every single day. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this, and if you enjoy the idea of more football content coming daily. And yeah, thanks for watching, really appreciate it, guys. Cheers.